Hey man, what to do, good people, man? Welcome to the Street Nitter representing friend shows, man. Hey, life is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you're going through in life, it's what you make it. You know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing to be here. Shouts out to the audience that tuning in. I think this is actually episode five. Wow. Five, episode five. I'm about to mess up and say three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but man, shouts out to everybody that tuned in. Man, we got Chris Ball in yes, the building. Yes. Hi. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, pretty man. Good. Hey, Happy man. Happy to be here. Hey, yeah, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's a blessing to have you in the building with us. You know, on this wonderful, this beautiful Saturday, man. It's gorgeous outside. It really is. I'm telling you, man. I'm finna get out there and let the sun shine in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, on my CeeLo thing, man. But it's like I said, it's a blessing to be here. Um, shouts out to Evan Vision. Um, if y'all tap in, man, y'all tap in, tap in with Evan Vision. Um, keep hitting that subscribe button. We need y'all to keep on subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I just feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I've been grinding and, and working. My feet hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, my, my shoe, they look more, they look more comfortable than they is. <laughs> oh I ain't like, hey, I put them things, I said, dog, they, they look they're more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, but like I said, it's a blessing to be here, man. So Chris, Chris Ball, tell the people who you are. So my name is Crystal, a.k.a. Chris Ball, and it's Chris Ball with three L's, K-R-Y-S-B-A-L-L-L. -L -L. Um, I like to call myself a serial entrepreneur. I do a lot of different things. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm here for the people. I'm here to expand the consciousness of the world. So, you know, I'm just, just out here. Hey Amen. Okay, when you say, I like, when you say serial Entrepreneur, so does that mean you're serious about <laughs> being an entrepreneur? Uh, you could say that, but it's more of I do a lot of different things. Like I have a lot of different businesses that I work with and a lot of different businesses that I do to bring in my income. Well, you already know what's next because we can't la leave them like that. Yeah. So what are some of the businesses that so, you contribute to society? My first baby um, is called the Chakra Shea Experience. Okay, um, okay. It's a whole experience. It's a spiritual slash wellness experience okay. that I created myself that changed my life drastically mm -hmm. um, and I'm using that as a platform to help other people change their lives as well um, and you know I look I watched a video today of the girls, um, somebody was doing I think it was sleepers for suckers they were doing like an interview and the girl was talking about how you can't really you know, people always say, oh, this program will change your life, but you can't really, I can't say, oh, I can change your life until mm. I can show that I've changed my own. So, you know, while I already have the structure of my business set, um, me as Chris Ball, the brand that I am as myself, I kind of um, uh, blog and, uh, how can I say, like display my growth, I've disp displayed my growth from the beginning until now so that when I do get to the place where I can say, I can help you change your life, you can actually go back and see where I've come from and how I have drastically changed my life. And that'll bring, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Help bring bring people in because I'm I'm authentic. I'm not here to like try to just grab money. Like I'm really, I really want to help change the world. Like there is, it's, I, that's, I want to help change the world. I'm, yeah. I'm going to help change the world, shall I say. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, I like what you said because people like to see results. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to sell a business without trying to sell a business. Right. When you produce results, you know, people like to see results. Mm -hmm. You know, when they see you... You started something, they see you winning, they see you going to the next level. You can market that. Mm -hmm. You can market that because now people know that, okay, this is an experienced person and they know what they're talking about. And people will pay for that. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely can um I definitely can feel that. Mm -hmm. Um as an entrepreneur, how how long you say you've been doing entrepreneur? Ooh, so I've been saying I was an entrepreneur for about I've I've been saying. I've been an entrepreneur for about a year, okay. but I've always had a job. Okay. I am now a full-time entrepreneur. Like I only work for myself. I hustle every single day to make sure I take care of what I have. And for me, that's what entrepreneur means. You know, well, 
not really. I'm self-employed, shall I? Yeah, I'm not an entrepreneur yet. I just had a say that. Yeah, I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not a full entrepreneur yet, but I have to say that so that I can keep it in my mind frame. mm. Right now, I'm working for myself. The goal is to be an entrepreneur to where I can, you know, run my businesses. Mm. You know, yeah. So, yeah. So that's. I like. I've been working for myself for about three months. Okay. Yeah. I like that because you know, um, knowledge is power. Yeah. And a lot of times we say stuff and then we really might not know all the way because mm-hmm. I learned that too. I learned because, I, you know, I've been hustling. Man, I've been hustling for a long time, you know, because if when they send you, it's in you. Um, and all the time I had been hustling, I had been saying I was an entrepreneur. I was an entrepreneur. And I learned that I was self-employed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, a I learned that I was self-employed. But then I also learned something, too, for those that are tapping in, too. With being an entrepreneur and running a business, a lot of times people tell you to jump out there in that water. And they might not say, well, you know what? It's okay to be self-employed on your own business and have a side hustle and have a side job to help push Mm -hmm. your brand or your thing to the next level. People don't say that right no, there. And then sometimes you'll get out here and you can be ultra because I didn't I did entrepreneur I mean I did self-employed entrepreneuring to you know to the fullest, but ain't nothing like having the multiple screens coming in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. As many ways as you can get that money to come through, you know what I'm saying? Get it coming through. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Um so I see y'all just did a fashion show. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about the fashion show. What was the name of the fashion show? So it's the Metlanta Fashion Mixer. Um, okay. It was me and G-Way TV. Uh, we put that together. Um, it was just a way to bring people together. For me, everything I do is all about community and networking and building. Like, I feel like, you know, we're not meant to... We're not meant to do everything on our own. Like, mm. if I have a skill, you have a skill, we get together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We can make something grand. So for me, you know, Atlanta is full of fashion. Everybody does music. Right. You know, so it was just a really nice time to get people to connect because, you know, just connect, network, build. You never know who might be there, who you can meet, and how y'all can connect and work on something over here. You know, just, just to build the community. I'm really strong on making sure that, you know, our people – and all people, but more so our people mm-hmm. kind of remember how to work together. I think we don't really we don't really work together the way we should. We're always thinking about ourselves and what we want to do for us. But it can be so much easier when you just allow the flow to happen and you work with people with like minds and you build together. Like who mm. wanna build a house by themselves? Mm. When you got twenty hands to help that can help build a house. Amen. You can get it done like that, Amen. you know? Amen. Like, Amen. Yeah, so that's what it was about. So, yeah, but it was a good fashion show. We had, like, um, some good designers um, and great artists. Um, we had a lot of vendors. Um, and, yeah, we're doing it again in October. Okay. We don't have a date yet. Hey. Yeah, so y'all look yeah. forward to that. Well, I hope to, I hope to make this next yeah. one. It looked like it was real. Like, it looked like it was a blast. It you was. know, it really, the content that I seen looked great. You know, I seen some nice models out there. You know, it looked like it was real impactful. It you was. know what I'm saying? So that's a blessing. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to talk about today um especially being a self-employed entrepreneur how to keep a winning spirit in the midst of adversity so keeping a winning spirit when you know your bills need to be paid and you don't know where the money gonna come from (laughs) keeping a winning spirit when you know you got snakes around you, and they might not, you know what I'm saying? Right. Can't stand you. Keeping a winning spirit when the car, <laughs> you know, the car keep cutting off, you know what I'm saying? Yes. The the house no need to be paid. How do you keep a winning spirit in the midst of adversity? It's kind of like you just have to. What's the alternative? If you don't keep that winning spirit, then what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like when you're in flow, when you are in, when you are connected to God and you're in flow and you are trusting and you are believing, you have no, like you have no choice. Like I have, for me and my personal experience, I have no choice but to, to trust. Right. And I know through trusting myself, trusting God that, you know, 
it'll all work out. Like, it's no reason to stress. It's always somebody going through something worse, too. So, Amen. you know, it is what it is. Like, you just push through. You push through. Amen. And, and, and the reason I say that, because, like, even with me, just like even what you said with being, you know, confident and knowing God is going to take care and he's going to assure. But while you're going through sometimes, you know, you know, sometimes when you at that place, because I had people going through situations and I'd be like, well, you know, it's somebody that's going through something worse than you. But they like, yeah, but I'm going through it right now, though. <laughs> you know, what, what kind of advice for somebody that's right now going through a situation would you give them if they don't know where the next meal is going to come from, but they're trying to be in Courage, you know. We know you're gonna shoot them a couple of dollars and help them out, but what kind of message okay. would you give them to carry them? I would once say self awareness. That's where for me self awareness comes in. You have to be self aware and understand that. Okay, why am I going through this? Like you have to look at yourself and understand why am I dealing with this right now? How did I get to this place? When you get that in your head and you understand, like this is a real, when you understand this is how I got to where I'm at, then you have to make the decision to change that. Mm. Or, you know, it's an opportunity for growth. Every time, I think every time we hit, when we're in flow and we're trying to operate a certain way, when we hit these spaces of triumph, no, not triumph, of uh, struggle right. and trouble, it's a space to learn and grow. Mm -hmm. and we keep repeating these things because we're not learning and mm. we're not growing. So if you really step back and, you know, get in tune with yourself and, and, and like really understand the source of what you're dealing with, then you can easily figure out a solution to mm. move past it. Cause everything you need is already here. It's just, you got to get out of your own way. Hey, you know, I can, I can feel that. Cause a lot of times people don't realize that, what you're going through don't make you. It don't. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You don't have to let what you're going through break you. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you're going through to build up. Mm -hmm. You know, going through a struggle should build up character. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Lack, we were talking and we talked about one day how, you know, just because I'm going through something, it, I, the world ain't got to know I'm going right. through something. Just because I'm going through something don't mean everybody else got to suffer mm -hmm. through me right. because I'm going through something. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times people don't realize, because I heard you talk about failure. You know, a lot of times we live in a time where people are scared to fail. And just the thought of it, you know, yes. just the thought of failing. Like, it's like, man, what they going to say, though? You know, if I give up the podcast right now, what they going to say? Right. If, if I stop doing music right now, what they going to say. And a lot of times, we, the what they going to say through us, because most of the time, the people who going to say something don't even care about you anyway. Yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> the, okay. one, the naysayers be looking to, s waiting, because they be looking to see, like, how she, how she keep going, you know, and why she keep going, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for me, I want to motivate and inspire somebody out there that's checking out this episode that no matter what you're going through, you know what I'm saying, you got to surround yourself with positive energy, something we went taught, but thank God that we're being taught now. Because the only thing we, you know, from, from the black side of what I know, only thing we were really taught was religion. Right. We were talk about, taught about all the other different stuff out here. Mm -hmm. And now that we are involved into something new, and now we are uh, changing our paradigm, now you can walk different. Right. Now the whole world look different. You know what I'm saying? It's like I had on a pair of glasses, and they had all this stuff on there. And then I messed around and wiped the glasses off. I put some Windex <laughs> on there, and I wiped it off. and said, oh, wow, now I can actually see. Right. You know, yeah. it don't look all yeah. foggy no mm -hmm. more. You know what I'm saying? So for, okay. for anybody out here that's going through, man, keep on going through. Keep on going through because what you're going through going to be able to help somebody else get through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I know you're into fashion. Mm -hmm. what, is some, what is another passion? Peace. I know that might not be a passion, but 
Mm. Just, just, just peace. Mm. Just peace is a passion. Like, um, I'm not going to say that. It is. That is one of my passions. That's one if of my that's favorite. what you love. That's one of my favorite. Like, my goal in life is to have my ultimate peace. Mm. Um, that's my passion. That's the reason why. That's probably the the backing behind why I've decided to build my life the way that I'm trying to build it so that I can eventually live out my truest passion, which is just living in peace and harmony and just being free. Mm. Man, you know something? Uh, who was it? Was it? Is it Henry Ford? Is it Henry Ford or Napoleon Hill? I think it's Henry Ford, though. They talked about being in harmony. In order to level up, you got to be in harmony with oneself. Mm -hmm. But then you got to surround yourself with people that are in harmony with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out here that's not in harmony with the people that's around them. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for stuff to happen because they're not on one accord. The churches back in the days, they did great works. Back in the day, they still doing them now. But back in the biblical days, they did awesome, impactful work. But when you get 60, 50, 60 uh, people on the same accord, right. thinking the same way, energy frequency in the same way, mm -hmm. man, that like Evan Vision. Man, you get 10 of us in here, 20 of us in here one day, all of us on the same accord, all of us thinking about winning. Man, that's in the atmosphere. Right. Something got to change. Right. Something got to happen. That's a Bible you see verse what I'm saying? That. There's a Bible verse for that. It's a, it's a, it probably is. <laughs> it's, one of my, it's one that's been on my mind for like the past week. And I don't read the Bible, not to say anything's wrong with it. Right. Amen. Amen. Um, you know, I was looking up something about teamwork and togetherness, and it's like, I think it's 1 Corinthians 12 and 14. It talks about how we were created for unity. Like, hey, we, we build with unity, like, together. We were, we were put here to do this together. And, like, what you're saying, when you find, but not everybody, not every group is the same, but when you find the tribe and you find the people on the same, it, the on the tribe. same wave, on, on that same um, you you know, energetic it. level, it's just, it's amazing. And from experience, I've been around situations, I've been around both. I've been around situations where I'm like, wow, wow, okay, this was effortless. And then I've been in other situations where it's like, I can feel I'm trying to force, I'm trying to force something and go to go back to what you were saying about failure. You know, this is a lesson that I'm literally learning in this moment. Like, I have to trust my intuition and trust, Amen. and trust myself because I had a fear of failure. Before today, I had a fear, you know, I've been walking with a fear of failure. I was afraid to make the wrong move, and I was trying to connect with anybody that I would meet. I was trying to connect because, you know, because you never know. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm helpful. I'm always here to help and, you know help other people expand, but everybody doesn't have the same thought process. So while you might be willing to do 20 million things, that person might be willing to do too. Mm -hmm. And so it's not a, you know, it's not a, it's not a match. So, but the fear of failure kept pushing me in that direction and kept my mind like, well, if you don't, then, you know, you might not work, you know, it might not work, but that's just me second guessing my own intuition and not listening. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you just had to step on out there because that's what faith is, you yeah. know, stepping out there into the uh, unknown. Because now we live in a time where it ain't about faith no more. Mm -hmm. We live in a time where if, and it's real, because back in the days, you know, it's plenty of great people that the creator has used that hasn't had money. Oh, good God, I'm out of y'all. So think about some of the greatest people we know about. Um, Mary, Mary, the mom of Jesus. Um, um, Rosa, um, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King. You know, think about some of the greatest people to ever live on this earth that have did stuff to make history. Mm. The stuff they did didn't have nothing to do with money. It was the impact that they made on lives. Right, right. Now, if my brother ain't got no bankroll, he ain't hitting on this. Right. You see what I'm saying? And we actually feel like that. And that's when it's, it's like a change in the mind because, you know, of course you don't want to be low on money. And that's when I talked about how to have a winning spirit in the midst of advers adversity. Because I'm sure no one wants to be low and not have money. But because you don't got money, that shouldn't make you right. uh, less of a person. Right. 
Okay, I ain't got all the money that I want, but guess what? I got wisdom, so I'm gonna be able to get everything I still need. Right, exactly. Guess what? I'm finna, I'm finna go out here. I'm finna make something happen. I ain't gonna sit here and dwell in a pity party right. of low energy. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and stuff won't go the way that I needed to go. You see, you got to keep pushing. When I didn't have a car, I had got, a, I got around everywhere I need to go. That way, when I meet people and they talk about they can't do this, that you, you, you a lie. And then, oh, good, got them out of y'all. We're getting hot on the street, and then representing a friend show. But now they bless y'all. Let check this out. Let check this out. Let these folk got Uber. Right. These folk got Lyft. These folk got car spots that will come pick you up in front of your house. Right. You know what I'm saying, though? These spots to pick you up in front of your house. Well, we had Martyr. Well, you had to walk miles to get to Martyr. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it ain't no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no excuses, got down. I apologize, y'all. But yeah, ain't no excuses. You know what I'm saying? Because now... It's 10 times better than it used to be. No matter what people say, because there's so much out here. Man, you got um, YouTube. Well, back in the days, you used to have to sit in front of a teacher's class, and you had to learn that stuff. Now you can go to YouTube and pop up a tutorial and learn how to do something. You probably would have paid, ain't no telling how much, to, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to learn how to do it. Amen. So, you know, I just want to inspire people that, no matter what you're going through, you know what I'm saying? Keep on going through, you know what I'm saying? And keep a winning spirit. And when I'm telling that, because you're going to get low. You're going to get low. Thoughts going to be in your mind. But just because they come to your mind don't mean you got to entertain them. Oh, good God, I'm out of y'all. Just because it come on your mind don't mean you got to entertain it. Just because there's some telling you you ain't going to never get Oh, man, you ain't going to never get it right. Okay, I hear you out there, but I rebuke that. You see what I'm saying? I, I tell myself all the time, man, it ain't always going to be like this. Oh, no, it ain't going to be like this all the time. And you're speaking manifestation on yourself. Mm -hmm. So it go back to what you say. Know thyself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Amen. Go on passing the microphone your way, God. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. No, I'm just over here basing in what you said. Like, it was, you know, that was needed. Like, I need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, even, you know, one thing I like to say is that even though I'm an advocate for self -aware, for, for self awareness, I'm an advocate for standing up in your true self, knowing thyself, knowing who you are, knowing how you operate, controlling your thoughts. Like I'm not perfection. Nobody is perfection. So I'm really big on allowing people to see my low seasons mm. because you know I want you to see see the ups and downs, That's see right. what I'm going through, see that I'm yes, I'm always happy. You're always gonna see a smile on my face. You're always gonna see my lipstick on. My I'm always gonna present and look like you know i'm doing amazing because that's what i'm you know right. that's what i'm manifesting but you i also want to you know speak about the low points and let people actually see when i'm low but just because i'm low and feeling down on the inside doesn't mean that i'm gonna allow that to take over what i have going on i push through Amen. like i push through because i know that that's what it takes like you got to push through you know and I allow myself, you know, you got to allow yourself, give yourself grace mm. and understand that, like, it's okay to step back. And sometimes when you find yourself in a, in a space of not knowing, you don't really know which way to go, just breathe and, like, sit back and, like, detach for a minute. Like, you can gain so much wisdom from just, like, sitting still and just closing your eyes and just breathing and just clearing your thoughts and listening to your intuition listening to god like because he's there like he's all around us like right. what you need is always here so yeah i just <sighs> amen amen well like i say um you know we're gonna get ready to wrap it up grace giving yourself grace yeah you have to not be so hard on self sometimes we're a little too hard on self if we got everybody else beating up self, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who go take up for self? Right. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I had to get to the place, you know what I'm saying? I said, okay, I ain't got help in this area. I, I'm looked down in this area. I'm look, And then I said, hold up now. If 
who gonna stand up for you? <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? You gotta stand up for right. you, and you gotta show you grace. You know, so man, for those that have tapped in, man, we appreciate y'all. Y'all hit that subscribe channel, uh, and remember, no matter what you're going through in life, keep a winning spirit. You know what I'm saying? Winning. You know what I'm saying? No matter. Ooh, good God of mine. No matter if I feel like I'm failing, I'm still winning. Right. You see, with the stuff I got, I can't lose. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Winning is the only option. Tell the people where they can find you. I am Crystal. Chris Ball, K-R-Y-S-B-A-L-L-L. -L -L. That's my personal. And then you can check out my business. It's the Chakra Shea Experience. If you go to my page, you'll see it there. So, hey man, hey man, y'all got it right here, man. The Street Needle Representative Friends Show. Man, y'all tap in the Evan Vision Network. We'll see you next time on the on this show. Amen. Bye. Yeah.